Rob good on that. <laughs> Margaret, we saved a seat right for you, front and centre. <laughs> She's going to grab you up, uh, a clipboard uh, through here. So there's lots of ways we can influence this. This is a kind of a messy, busy slide, but <laughs> <laughs> but Mark is, <laughs> but, but, yeah, it's very busy right there in the middle. <laughs> and and <laughs> let's uh, maybe move that chair. Perfect. Yeah, okay. So remember the spinal cord right here, where the pain goes through, right here, coming in the back. That's where all the pain signals come in. This is that spinal cord. So here's the pain coming in right through here. Lots of things influence that, okay? We just referenced, and most of you are familiar with this, getting an adjustment. It switches off this pain pathway, so this doesn't happen and go up to the brain and say, I've got pain, okay? It stimulates receptors in the joints that were dormant, okay? So you have a joint in the body it's perfect. I got a shelf from my clinton. Everybody grab your finger. Wiggle it. That's joint motion. Every single joint in the body has that. Your fingers, your ankles, your knees, your hips, and your spine. Unless it doesn't. Right? <laughs> and that's called a joint restriction. And as you know, some of those joint restrictions are painful, some are not painful, right? And the idea is if we can keep everything moving we keep our receptors stimulated. Now these receptors are motion, mechano, they're motion receptors, and they sense motion. So when I'm doing that, the brain knows that this, this middle finger can move up and down easily, okay? Same thing with the first finger, same thing with the thumb. When this is restricted, my brain gets less information from this joint. So it says, well, I don't know about that finger. I think we can move it. Uh, but uh, we're not in the best touch these days, you know, we don't talk to each other all the time, you know, uh, I get a very fuzzy connection, uh, but I think the finger's still there, and I think it's doing okay, okay? So when you get a loss of communication with the joint, other joints still get more communication. And so the muscles, when I go to grip something, which happens all day, I go to grip to get dressed, I go to grip to put my shoes on, I go to grip to hold the steering wheel, uh, everything. Grip to eat, knife and fork, everything else. Every time I grip, I'm sending a message saying, fire this muscle, fire this muscle, fire this muscle. If I've got a joint that's not moving well, the muscle's gonna fire a little differently, okay? It may be a little slow, and that's how you get repetitive stresses in the body. Now you transfer that to the head, where you're doing repetitive stresses on a computer or in a car, or you transfer it to a low back where you're, you're moving and twisting, and you're gonna get different levels of inflammation in the body, okay? Everybody okay with that? <laughs> okay, so when we have a joint that's as long as a spine, and you guys are all very familiar with these because you've all got them, and you're very familiar with me working on them, and there's generic vertebrae, and there's generic joints. Mm. They're all connected. And in these joints, these joints are chock full of pain receptors. Every single tissue in the body, including the joints, including the muscles, including the disc, the outer third of the disc, including the lining of the bones, all have pain receptors, okay? So all of those can cause pain. When these guys get activated, as you know from that, it goes, the pain goes into the disc, up the nervous system, and into the brain, and you get a pain sensation. When we have a restricted joint, and we distract that in the pain-free direction, we fire these mechanoreceptors. And these will switch off the pain response right there. And that's why you get less pain after you get an adjustment, right? Every time, it's a neurological phenomenon. And that's what we're talking, we wake up these motion receptors, switches the pain off, attenuates it. So if it's really bad pain, if it's gonna, is it gonna switch it off right away? Not always, no, it usually takes a little while, right? You're usually in three times a week, whatever, a couple of weeks, it goes down, and you're like, my God, I can't, can you believe it, it was only 10 days ago, you know? 10 days ago, I was nine out of 10 pain, and I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. Um, now it's doing a lot better. <laughs> 